honey. I think our dog has dyslexia. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, he got that one right. Now he's finally stopped barking. When it makes it hard for you to read, I think dyslexia is a thing that kid, um, kids find things tricky. Like I think dyslexia is where your brain is wired differently from other people. It's like something that goes on with the brain and it makes you like not spell words right and he likes spelling and reading but they might um, be really good at building, drawing and art. And this is in some cases irregular and this allows you to be worse at one thing and better at another. Make it a bit harder for you to concentrate and work, maybe? Yeah. Dyslexia is a specific learning disability that is neurobiological in origin. So let's just say there's a guy named Bill. Hello! Bill struggles to read fluently. <laughs> Spell words correctly. First word is bus. The second word is two. The third word is was. Ah! He also finds learning a second language very difficult. Uh, bonjour, comment allez-vous? Um. Uh. Um, it's three. The answer is three. It's three. Um, three? No, I just said how are you in French. Bill also struggles to write. <coughs> it is also longer for Bill to process. Processing. 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 Please wait. Please wait. But Bill's difficulties have no connection to his overall intelligence. While people like Bill with dyslexia are slow readers, they often are very fast and creative thinkers with strong reasoning ability. I think they could improve by... I think teachers could help with our dyslexia by like when they um, are t telling you how to do an assessment. Um, I think they could improve by understanding what dyslexia is a bit more and understand how I'm struggling. Just understand a bit more about dyslexia and like give them a bit more help but don't watch over them like a hawk. Instead of like explaining it the same way as they explain all the it to the other students in your class, they could like uh, like put it into simpler words like with like one or two syllables, um, and then like explain it separately to you that way. Tips for teachers: one, be patient; two, boost self confidence by giving lots of praise. Only ask a person with dyslexia to read aloud if they feel comfortable. Four, don't use the words lazy or you're falling behind. Five, expect less written work. Six, prepare a printout of homework. Seven, computers are a useful alternative to writing. Eight, discuss an activity to make sure it is understood. Nine, give the opportunity to answer questions orally. Ten, allow more time during tests. Um, so teachers are doing well by starting um, kids with dyslexia off by um, giving them easier work and then building them up to 
on the same level. I think they're doing well, like, calming them down when stuff doesn't go their way. Well, and maybe um, in some subjects they um, are at the, at the top of the class in them, but um, also teachers are seating kids next to, well, kids with dyslexia next to kids that might not distract them as much so they can focus on their work. Um, I want to be a farmer, like my dad. A YouTuber. Um, when I grow up, I want to be a missionary, so I can go over to other countries and teach people how to, like, help each other and stuff like that. When I grow up, I want to be either a small animal vet or an agricultural vet. A first football player. I think I want to be a book writer and write books about superheroes and pirates. Uh, maybe a scientist.